Svi traže video o Cyrilici. Everyone has been asking about a video on Cyrillic script. Pa, evo ga. So, here it is. In this video, I'm going to cover in detail how to write each letter in Serbian Cyrillic script, how to pronounce it correctly, and I'll also give you some tips and tricks on how to remember both writing and pronunciation very easily. I would also like to let you know that if you want to practice your um, knowledge of Cyrillic, our pre-intermediate online self-study course is a great source for that because we made sure to use both scripts, Cyrillic and Latin, throughout that course interchangeably. So one unit, for example, would be in Cyrillic, another one in Latin and so on. I'll leave the link to that course below this video so that you can sign up if you're interested. So, without taking your time any further, um, let's get started with the video and master that Cyrillic script. Ovaj grad na slici je Beograd. This city in the photo is Belgrade. And this is the name of the capital city of Serbia, Belgrade, Beograd, written in Cyrillic script and then in Latin script. Serbian language has 30 letters, and each letter is one sound, regardless of where that letter is in a word. This makes spelling and reading much easier than in some other languages, as you will also see in the examples that I will show in this video. Cyrillic alphabet is called azbuka, azbuka, and it's the first table that you see here. That's azbuka, the pink one. And Latin alphabet is called abeceda, abeceda. And it's the second um, table that you see here, the gray one. Because the first letter in azbuka is A and the last letter is Sh, in Serbian we have the expression od A do Sh, which means that something is complete, full or finished. Na primer, for example, naučio sam pesmu od A do sh. I've memorized this song completely. I've memorized the entire song. Naučio sam pesmu od a do sh. You may wonder why do you need to know both scripts if we are using them interchangeably. And the reason is that, for example, signs for street names or for names of restaurants, coffee shops, and so on, appear only in Cyrillic sometimes. And you can see here Ulica Kralja Milana, the street of King Milan, uh, is written in Cyrillic. Or Zona, which means area, and this sign is for school area, is written only in Cyrillic. Sometimes, of course, uh, the street names would appear in Latin or they would appear in both uh, Cyrillic and Latin scripts. So there is no strict rule, really. But if you're planning to visit Serbia or to live and work in Serbia, then it's best if you're comfortable with both scripts, just so you don't get lost or confused when you're looking for places or trying to um, do business in Serbia. So besides the fact that uh, street signs would appear in both scripts, in Cyrillic and Latin, another reason why you should know Cyrillic is that some documents, for example, official documents, tend to be written only in Cyrillic script. One such example is Nalog za uplatu ili uplatnica, which is a pay slip that you use when you go to a bank and you want to transfer man money to another Serbian bank account. Or, for example, ugovor o radu, employment contract. Uh, some employers would issue employment contracts only in Cyrillic. And, of course, you want to know the terms of your work contract. So, it's best if you can read Cyrillic on your own. Also, for example, kids in Serbia, they learn both scripts early on. And by the end of grade one, they can already use them both uh, comfortably and switch between both scripts. So I believe you definitely can do um, the same and you can learn both scripts and be able to switch between uh, one and another. So let me show you some tricks on how to best memorize Cyrillic letters. So let's look at tricks for remembering Azbuka. Trikovi za pamtjenje azbuke. Prvi trik. 
Podela Slova. I will divide the letters, the 30 letters, into different groups, and you will see that each group will have some characteristics, and that way you can remember the letters more easily because you know, oh, these letters are the same as the ones in English alphabet, for example, these ones are completely different, and so on. Then, trik broj dva, mnemoničke tehnike, mnemonic techniques. You will see I'll show you how to write each letter, and then as I'm writing it, I'll show you some visual associations that you can have with that letter, and that will help you memorize the shape of the letter more easily. And the last trick is using poznate reči using familiar words, and you will see that we will use the names of the countries, cities, or famous people, and we will write them in Cyrillic, and that way you will be able to remember that a certain letter has a certain pr pronunciation. You will be able to link the letter and the sound much more easily. So let's start with our first trick for memorizing Cyrillic letters, and this is to group these letters into different categories. So the first group would be the group that we would call Prijatelji. Prijatelji in Serbian means friends. Why do we call these letters friends? Because they resemble or are the same as the letters in English alphabet, so they're written in the same way and they are pronounced in more or less the same way. So the letters that are colored like in this dark pink color would be our friends here. Next group is what we call lažni prijatelji, false friends. These are the blue letters in this table. They are written in the same way as English letter, but we pronounce them differently. Novi prijatelji, symmetrični, new friends, and they are symmetrical, are the letters that are completely new, you don't know them from the English alphabet, and their shape is symmetrical, so it's a little bit easier to learn. And it's easier to learn these letters than asymmetrical letters, novi asymmetrični prijatelji, and this is the last group, and these are the letters in pink color. And I will now go group by group and we will cover all of the letters and we will go over how they're written, how they're pronounced, and also I will show you some examples of the words, common words, that start with these letters. So let's get started. Hajde da počnemo sa slovima koja zovemo prijatelji. Let's start with the letters that we call friends. A to su and they are A, E, Y, K, M, O, T. And now I will show you how to write each of these letters and also some common words that start with these letters. All of these letters that we call our friends, there is no real need for me to demonstrate how we write them, apart from, from these three letters, which have just a small difference compared to the Latin script, and that is in these lowercase letters. As you can see, we write each lowercase letter as a small version of the uppercase letter, so we don't write m like this or k like this or t like this, but we just write them as smaller versions of uppercase letters. Now I'm going to show you how to pronounce all of these letters that are in this group, but we will not be writing each of them separately. For the rest of the video, I will show you how to write each letter because um, other letters will be new for you. Slovo A. Auto. America, astronaut. When you're pronouncing this letter, keep your mouth open like this. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Sort of imagine being at the doctor's and the doctor asks you to look at your throat. That's the shape of the mouth you should have when pronouncing this letter. Let's pronounce these, let these words once again. Auto, America, astronaut. Slovo E. Just like letter A, letter E is also a vowel in Serbian language. 
Let's see some common words that start with letter E. Ekran, Evropa, Ekser. When you're pronouncing this letter, your mouth should stretch to the sides a bit like this. E. So having this in mind, let's read these words once again. Ekran, Evropa, Ekser. Slovo J. Yoga, Jordan, Jaje. Slovo K takođe izgovaramo kao englesko slovo K. We also pronounce letter K as English K. So let's see some words. Kamera, Kuwait, Kada. Slovo M i reči koje počinju na slovo M. Muzika, Malezija, Majmun. Slovo O. Opera, Oman, Oko. When you are pronouncing vowel O, your mouth should be shaped like a circle, like this. O, O. Slovo T. Telefon. Thailand. Tepih. When you're pronouncing letter T, your tongue touches the upper palate and your front teeth here. T. 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 Like that. And you see how I used common words here that you should also know from English. For example, telefon. I. Thailand. Uh, for the country and this should help you tie the letter to the sound. Now that you covered the letters in Cyrillic that are the same as the ones in English alphabet, it's time for so-called letters that we call false friends or lažni prijatelji. Remember we said that our false friends are letters that look exactly the same like the ones in English, for example, but we pronounce them completely differently. So let's see once again what they are. V, N, R, S, H. Letter V is written just like letter B in English. That's why it's our false friend because it can easily be confused with letter B, but in fact, it corresponds to letter V in um, Serbian Latin script or letter V in English. And the word you can associate with letter V is višnja, which is the word for a sour cherry. Slovo V Koje reči počinju na slovo V? Which words start with letter V? Vegetarianac, vegetarian. Vietnam, voz. Letter N is written exactly like letter H in English. That is one of why it is one of our false friends. It corresponds to this letter from um, Latin alphabet in Serbian and you can associate it with the word noga which is the word for a leg. Slovo N. Reči koje počinju na slovo N. Noga, Norveška, nebo. Letter R is exactly the same as English letter P. So I know it can be very confusing. That's why we call this our false friend. And it corresponds to this letter in Latin script in Serbian. And the word uh, you can associate with this letter is ruža, which means a rose. Slovo R. Reči koje počinju na slovo R. Reka, Rumunija, Riba. 
Now, when you're pronouncing Serbian letter R, your tongue has to be uh, placed just uh, in front of the upper teeth, and it also has to vibrate a little when you're pronouncing R. So place the tip of the tongue in front of your upper teeth, touching the teeth, and make it vibrate, not just um, touch the teeth once, but kind of stay there and create a vibration, R, like that. Riba, Reka, Rumunia. You hear that vibration at the beginning of each word, so try to achieve that. R, Riba, Reka, Rumunia. S in Cyrillic, it's written just like English C and it corresponds to this letter from Latin Serbian alphabet. The word you can associate with this letter is Sunce because it's round just like Sun. Slovo S i reči koje počinju na slovo S. Sunce, Sirija, Sok. This sound exists in English and you can hear it in the words such as sunshine, story, summer and so on. It is best pronounced if you stretch your mouth a little and put them in sort of a smile. S, Sunce, Siria, Sok. Letter H in Cyrillic looks like this, exactly the same as um, letter X in English, but we don't have that sound in Serbian language. It corresponds to this letter from Latin uh, Serbian alphabet and the word you can associate with this letter is the word chleb, which means bread. Slovo H I reči koje počinju na slovo H Hotel Hrvatska Hleb. So the sound H is the same as in English with the sound that you hear at the beginning of the word hotel. H, hotel, hotel in English. Notice how the name for the country, Croatia, in Serbian, but also in Croatian, is Hrvatska. Hrvatska is what you hear how people in Croatia call their country. Also, if you are a tourist in Croatia, you might have visited at the island Hvar. Hvar starts with this same letter, H. It's a very popular tourist place and if you haven't been there, you should definitely go. Hvar, Hrvatska, Hleb, Hotel. All of these words start with the letter H. A sada vreme je za nove prijatelje. And now it's time for the group of letters, which we call new friends. To su simetrična slova. These are symmetrical letters. So even though they're new, they are a bit easier to learn because of their symmetrical shape. Hajde da vidimo koja su to slova. Let's see what these letters are. P, F, Ž, D, Dž, š. Slovo P is very simple to write. It has this nice rectangular shape and it's symmetrical. So that's why we call it one of our new symmetrical friends. So if you divide it like this, the two halves are absolutely um, identical. In Latin script, it corresponds to a letter P that looks like this. And you can associate it with the word prolas which in Serbian means a passage or an aisle. And if you look at the shape of the letter, it sort of reminds uh, me of um, some kind of tunnel or um, an entry to a passage. Slovo P i reči koje počinju na slovo P. Pomfrit, Portugal, Patka. In English, for example, the words that start with this sound would be pub, Pretty, Peter, and others. Letter F is written as one line, and then over the line you write an oval shape like that. 
lowercase letter is the same. This letter corresponds to letter F written like this in Latin script. The word you can associate with this letter is football, which is the word for soccer in Serbian. Why is this good association? Well, because this shape resembles the shape that you can see in the middle of the soccer field. Slovo F i reči koje počinju na slovo F. Football, Francuska, Fabrika. In English, for example, this sound can be heard at the beginning of the words such as fun, fancy, physics, and so on. Ž, ovo je veliko slovo Ž, a ovo je malo slovo Ž. In Latin alphabet, the corresponding letters are like this, and you can also see them in the bottom corner of the slides. Now, some people also write this letter with kind of more curvy lines like this. I have personally always written it like this. And since I was a little kid, this word, this letter, sorry, associated me to the word žaba, which means a frog. Slovo ž i reči koje imaju slovo ž. Žaba, Rio de Janeiro, žirafa. The sound ž is similar to what you hear in English words such as pleasure, treasure, measure, and so on. When you're pronouncing this sound, your tongue touches the palate somewhere behind the upper front teeth, not touching the teeth. Ž, 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 like that. And your mouth is not stretched into a smile um, and it's not very open, um, but it's kind of just slightly open and uh, your lips are forming a small circle shape, small round shape, shape so to say. Ž. Serbian letter D is written as this kind of rectangle on top of two legs, so to say. Smaller uh, lowercase version is written in the same way. Uh, because it comes from Greek letter delta, uh, some people write it like this as a triangle on top of two legs. I personally um, tend to write it like this more often just because it's a little bit easier and faster for me. The word you can link to this letter is the word drvo, which is the word for a tree. Imagine this as a tree trunk and then a um, tree top uh, on top of the letter. Slovo D i reči koje počinju na slovo D. Duga, danska, doktorica. Letter J in Cyrillic is written as this sort of rectangle that is open at the top and it has a line in the middle like this. Lowercase letter is just the same, open rectangle at the top and line in the middle. This letter is one of our symmetrical new friends because as you can see it can be split in um, half and it corresponds to letter J in Latin alphabet that looks like this. It's basically written as two letters but it produces one sound, sound J. The best way to remember this letter in Cyrillic is to link it to the word uh, jack, which means a sack. And this letter resembles a sack in a way, but the sack that is turned upside down. Slovo J. Jem, Jakarta, Jemper. This sound is similar to what we have in English in the words such as joy, so J in joy, or for example, George, G in George, but Serbian version, version is a bit harder than this English sound, but still, this is very good guidance. So if you remember these English words, joy, George, Jim, um, these can help you uh, get this sound right. 
And how do you pronounce this sound? Well, uh, your tongue is touching the palate and the position of the tongue is right behind the upper front teeth. J, j, j. And your mouth is in a round shape. J, j. Remember we placed mouth like that when we were pronouncing the sound j as well. So here it's the same. It's round shape and the tongue is touching um, the palate right behind the front teeth. J. Okay, so let's pronounce these words uh, on the slide once again. Jam, Jakarta, Jamper. Sh in Cyrillic is written as three vertical lines and one horizontal line. Same for the lowercase letter. This letter corresponds to this letter in Latin Serbian script. And the word you can associate with the letter is the word Shuma, which is the word for a forest. Slovo Sh. Shuma, Švedska, Šišarka. We have this sound Sh in English as well. For example, in the words such as Shu or Sugar. So SH or SU can make this sound Sh. When you're pronouncing Sh, then your mouth is again in the round shape and your tongue is again um, touching the palate uh, just behind the upper teeth but this time it's not kind of curled upwards uh, as it is in j, j but it's almost parallel to the palate still slightly touching it with the tip but almost parallel sh, sh, sh. so um the way it, the contact between the tongue and the palate is much less pronounced than with the sounds such as j, j, sh, sh, sh. So let's pronounce the words on this slide once again. Shuma, Švedska, Šišarka. A sada posljednja grupa slova koju zovemo novi prijatelji i oni su asimetrični. And now the last group of letters, which we call new friends, and they are asymmetrical. Hajde da vidimo koja su to slova. Let's see what these letters are. B, G, J, Z, I, L, L, N, Č, C, Č, u. Slovo G izgleda ovako, looks like this. And corresponding letter, oops, corresponding letter in Latin alphabet is this. And one way to remember this letter in Cyrillic alphabet is to link it to the verb govoriti. This is a pretty common verb, so if you know some Serbian, you probably know this verb. Um, for example, ja govorim srpski, I speak Serbian. Now, why did I link it to the verb govoriti? Well, simply because it kind of, the shape of the letter g reminds me of the standing microphone which we used to speak. So, if you link this verb, uh, this letter, to uh, the image of the microphone and remember that uh, we use the microphone to speak so it's linked to the verb govoriti this can help you better remember this letter i know that sometimes my associations uh, are weird and they might not work for everyone uh, so find your own uh, be as creative as you wish the weirder the association i would say the better you would remember the letter um, better like that Slovo G, grožje, gana, grad. B, you can write it like this. So start in the same way you write letter G and add belly to it. So this is uppercase B. When it comes to lowercase B, you would write a circle like this and then add a small squiggly line like that on the top. When it comes to this lowercase letter, I usually write it from one line, just like that. So 
like that and it's still understandable and a lot of people actually write it like that just because it's faster so these letters correspond to b in serbian latin script this is uppercase and b in serbian um, latin script again lowercase now the way to remember this letter especially the lowercase one i think it's really good image to have in mind uh, the word bomba this smaller lowercase letter b really resembles a bomb bomb uh, so that's one way to link it you can even kind of find that image and some resemblance in the uppercase letter but this is particularly true of the lowercase version of the letter slovo b beba brazil baka slovo z veliko slovo i malo slovo slovo z izgleda kao broj 3 letter z looks like number 3 latin version of this letter is this and common association for this letter is in the word zmija which in serbian means a snake and a lot of people see a kind of coiled snake in the shape of this letter so that helps them remember the letter and associate it with this word which starts with letter z Slovo Z. Zmija, Zanzibar, Zub. Slovo I. Pišemo ovako. We write letter I like this. You can also write it like this. You can first write the parallel lines and then and add the diagonal one at the end. This letter corresponds... Oops. This letter corresponds to uh, this uh, Latin letter the letter in latin script and the word associated with this letter is the word igla needle so look at the picture here and imagine um, the needle sort of inside this letter and this image can help you link um, the way this letter is written to the way we pronounce it uh, because it's at the beginning of this word igla Slovo I. Istoria, Istanbul, Igla. So the letter E is a vowel and it's pronounced by stretching your mouth into a smile, a big one, E. And the closest uh, equivalent to this in English is basically double E. For example, in the word sweet or the word feet. So try to link this letter to that sound. E. Istoria, Istanbul, Igla. Slovo L. Veliko slovo L i malo slovo L. A lot of people write this letter like this, just because it's uh, simpler. It sort of looks like an uh, unfinished triangle. And this letter corresponds to these letters, uh, uppercase, lowercase, in Serbian latin script now one way to remember this letter is to link it to the word lestve which is the word for letters and this really does look like letters um, and even in english the word starts uh, with the same sound so i think it can be a good mnemonic device slovo l laptop liban Lampa. Slovo L izgleda kao slovo L, samo ima ovaj stomak sa strane. Letter L looks exactly like letter L, just with the belly on the side. It corresponds to this Latin letter or the letter in Latin script to be more precise, but you know what I mean. Uh, and the way to remember this letter is uh, to remember the word ljuljaška, which is the word for a swing. And why that? Well, as you can see in this image, this kind of looks like those poles um, that support the swing and on which a swing can hang. L, ljudi, ljubljana, ljubav. 
So the sound y is another one of these sounds that our students often struggle with, simply because there is no real equivalent um, to this sound in, for example, English. Something similar can be heard in the middle of the word million. If you pronounce it quickly, you hear, you get that sound in the middle, uh, that soft sound, million. So it almost gets there, but not quite. Uh, one thing that can help you is to think of merging the two consonants and one consonant is L and another consonant is Y and kind of melding them together the same way we did uh, with the consonants D and Y in the sound J. So if you try pronouncing L, L, L uh, quickly together, you would eventually come to this sound L. And we have a great video on this topic, just covering the sounds L and the sound N, which we will cover later on in um, this video. But we have a video just devoted to these two sounds because they're so close and so similar. And I'm going to leave the card and the link for that video here. So um, when it comes to the sound L, uh, the best way to pronounce it is by kind of stretching your mouth, in, mouth into a wide smile, L, 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 like that. And uh, also be mindful, of, again, of the position of your tongue. Um, your tongue is um, touching the palate with its entire first half. So from the tip of the tongue till the middle of the tongue, stick that part to the palate. And the tip of the tongue hits the teeth. L, 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 like that. So let's go back to these words again on the slide and try to pronounce them once again. Ljudi, Ljubljana. Ljubav. Letter N is written like letter N, if you remember letter N, and with the belly on the side. Lowercase letter N is the same. It corresponds to this letter from Cyrillic script. And I don't really have a very good association for this one, but um, for example, you can link it to the word Nyushka, which is the word for a snout. Nyushka. Nya. Nyushka. New York. Niva. This is another sound like the previous sound L that causes some trouble to students. Uh, but fortunately, we have something similar happening in English with the sounds that we hear at the beginning of the word, for example, news or New York, like here, or for example, Minion. These are all soft sounds that uh, are quite similar to this uh, Serbian uh, letter N. Uh, Serbian letter N is also made up basically of two consonants, N and Y, which again, you can kind of blend together to get this sound. N, N, N. If you pronounce them quickly, you should be getting at this sound N. Uh, sound ny is pronounced uh, by uh, putting the mouth in the small, slight smile. So not as wide as when we were pronouncing ly, but kind of ny, more discreet. And also uh, the tongue is not touching the teeth this time. It's also sticking to the palate, but not touching the teeth. Ny, 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 like that. Uh, so let's pronounce the words from this slide once again. Njuška, New York, Njiva. Slovo č in Serbian Cyrillic is written like this. One straight line, then a curved line like this, and one line across. Same for the lowercase letter. Straight line, curved line, and a line across. This letter in Cyrillic corresponds to this Latin um, script letter. And the word that you can use to remember letter Č is the word Čilim. This is the word of Turkish origin and the word means decorative rug or carpet. So you can imagine uh, letter Č as a person standing on that carpet. Slovo Č, Djokovic. So uh, we are not now referring to that sound at the beginning of uh, Djokovic surname, uh, sound J, um, but we are talking about uh, this sound at the end of the word here, Č, Djokovic, and this ending Ić is typical for Serbian surnames, and this is the sound that we are getting at here. Um, Čirilica, Čebe. 
Uh, now, the sound ch is another one of these sounds that our students find tricky, and it seems like we left all of the most difficult ones uh, towards the end. Uh, but bear with me; I'm gonna try to get at it and to explain it how to explain it to you how to get this sound right. Um, so this sound, something similar, is uh, can be found in the words such as a tube, tune, opportunity. So the combination of TU in English often produces this soft sound, which is similar to Serbian CH, but Serbian CH is a bit softer than that. Again, a helpful image is to think about merging two consonants, T and Y, together and pronouncing them quickly, CH, 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 and eventually you get to this soft CH. Uh, when you are when we are talking about the position of the tongue and mouth, um, so with ch, um, the tongue is in a slight smile. So it's not like with ly. Remember we had that wide smile. Here it's just slightly the mouth the mouth is just slightly stretched ch, and uh, we also have it rounded a bit ch, ch, and then the tongue is um, touching the palate with its. Uh, half of its surface from the tip to the middle and also hitting the teeth with um, the tip ch, 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 like that so let me pronounce these words from the slide once again now that i've explained um, how to pronounce this letter djokovic chirilica chebe slovo j is very similar to letter ch which we just covered it's just that this belly here extends downwards like this under to go under this line and then the lowercase letter is just the same uh, this letter corresponds to this letter in serbian latin script the word you can link to letter j is the word jak which means a student Slovo dž, džak, dženova, džubre. Now, there is no exact equivalent of the sound dž in English language. Something similar can be heard at the beginning of the word džuk. Also similar is uh, the, word, uh, the sound at the beginning of the word džus. So uh, these sounds can kind of guide you through the pronunciation, but there is no exact equivalent. If you're an Italian speaker, it's much easier for you because we can find the sound J in the words such as Genoa, uh, Gelato, uh, Giovanni, and so on. So the sound J is basically made up of two sounds, D and Y. And if you pronounce these two sounds quickly together, you would uh, get this sound J. J, J, J. I hope that makes sense. Also, think about uh, the position of the tongue and your, um, the shape of your mouth when you're pronouncing this word. This can help. Um, so unlike with other sounds that we covered previously, such as zh, zh, and so on, where your mouth had to be um, in a round shape, like zh, uh, zh is your mouth is slightly stretched to the side, sort of as if you're making like a small um, smile, zh, and your tongue um, is not really touching the palate with the tip. So uh, the tip of the tongue is touching the teeth, these upper front teeth, uh, but the palate is basically the whole chunk of the tongue, um, like the first half, so to say, from the tip to sort of the middle of the tongue, that is what's touching the palate. J, J. So stick it to the palate. J, J. Okay, so let's try to pronounce these words on the slides once again. Jack, Genova, Jubre. Cyrillic letter C is very similar to Cyrillic letter J. If you remember letter J, the line was here like this in the middle and it was a symmetrical letter. Um, C, on the other hand, has the line here on the side like that. And lowercase letter is just a smaller version of that uppercase letter. The corresponding letter in Serbian Latin script is this, and the word you can link to this letter is cipella, which is the word for a shoe. So, 
pizza, circus, cigla. Sound C is closest to um, what we have in Italian is double Z. So for example, such as in the word pizza or palazzo or piazza. So this is the sound that uh, we have in Serbian and um, the letter is written like this. C. In English, maybe you can get this sound uh, in uh, the plural of some nouns, for example, wits. So if you have TS at the end and you pronounce them uh, quickly together, you might get a um, similar effect uh, and similar sound. So let me try and pronounce these words once again slowly. Pizza, circus, cigla. Ch is written as a semicircle with a line going down like this. This is uppercase and then this is lowercase letter Ch. This letter corresponds to this letter in Latin script. The word you can use to remember letter Ch in Cyrillic is Chasha. Chasha is a Serbian word for glass, any type of glass. Wine glass is Vinska Chasha ili Chasha za vino. And this letter kind of always reminded me of wine glass. It's just that this leg of the glass is pushed to the side. Ch. Chocolada. Chile. Čovek. Sound Ch is similar to what you hear in English word chess or English word champion. Or for example, tree, even that. So a um, combination of letters CH or TR in English sometimes produce this sound. In Serbian, uh, you pronounce it by uh, putting your mouth in a round shape, ch, ch, and your tongue is curved upwards like this. Remember how with some letters we had the tongue flat, touching the palate uh, flatly, but here it's turned upwards and only the tip of the tongue is touching the palate right behind the front teeth, like this. I'm exaggerating now, but approximately that's uh, the position of the tongue. Chocolada, Chile, Čovek. Slovo U is written like this, uppercase and lowercase. This letter corresponds to this letter from Latin Serbian script and one word you can link to letter U is Udica, which is the word for a fish bait. Slovo U. Usta, Uganda, Učenica. When you're pronouncing the letter U, your mouth should be in a round shape, U, and the sound is a bit shorter than double O in English. U. Usta, Uganda, Učenica. Thank you for sticking this long. We are almost done. Uh, we covered all groups of letters. Now I'm just going to show you a few tips and tricks uh, with Cyrillic and that's it. Uh, congrats on going through the 30 letters and um, mastering the writing, the reading, the pronunciation. I hope this was helpful. Let us know please in the comments below what you think and if you need any additional tips and also please subscribe to our channel. We are new on YouTube and every like means a lot to us. We also send plenty of free material through our newsletter. Newsletter is sent twice a month and it contains worksheets where you can practice um, Serbian reading, writing, grammar, and expand your vocabulary um, and the newsletter is leveled so if you're a beginner or intermediate learner or advanced learner we will have something for you now i want to show you where the cyrillic letters are on the keyboard so if you have a keyboard it probably looks like this and um, your new friends novi prijatelji will be hidden on some of these keys so let's see where they are L is here then ny, z, sh, dj, zh, dj, ch, and ch. 
So we covered all of the ones that um, otherwise you can't find an equivalent for in Latin alphabet in terms of the sound. So uh, take a screenshot of this and I think that this should help you um, remember these letters and where they are on the keyboard. And the last thing I want to show you is this online tool, which you can find on the website lexilogos.com, which converts Latin to Cyrillic script and vice versa. Let me demonstrate how it works. So basically you type the text in either Latin or Cyrillic script and you get it converted. It's pretty neat. So you can practice your Cyrillic uh, letters like that. You can type something in Latin and see uh, what comes out in Cyrillic or vice versa. We cover Cyrillic script in detail in our pre-intermediate online self-study course. Also units in this course are interchangeably in Cyrillic and Latin. So by the end of the course, you will for sure know both scripts equally. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe it and please write something down in Cyrillic. We want to see your skills. Ciao, hvala puno.